and welcome to another episode of Gear Talk. That's where I talk a little more in depth about equipment that I use on this channel and explain a little more about it in detail and just what makes it so special to me. And for this month, I am featuring the all new Godin DS1. This is a Daryl Sturmer signature model. Now, before I get into any further detail, just have to make a quick statement. This ain't a paid promotion. Godan Guitars ain't paying me a single dime to do this video. And for that matter, neither is Daryl Sturmer. And I should also note that none of my other Gear Talk videos are paid promotions either. So, for many of us who play the guitar, there's somebody out there, some artist, that inspires us somehow. We like their stuff so much, we want to be able to play like they do. And that's the main reason we end up getting a guitar and playing. And for me, that person who inspired me is Daryl Sturmer. And for those of you that don't know, Daryl Sturmer is very well known for his work with Genesis and Phil Collins. And prior to Genesis, he was part of Jean-Luc Ponty's band. That's he, for, and if you don't know who he is, he is a jazz fusion violinist. So, and, and Daryl Sturmer was part of his band back in the 70s. And, and I've seen Phil Collins perform twice in concert, and I've also seen Daryl Sturmer do a show with his own band, and he's also an excellent solo artist, and his solo albums are excellent. So, and this guitar was well worth the wait for me, because for many years I waited for a guitar manufacturer to come up with a Daryl Sturmer signature model. And a lot of artists do this, knowing that many of their fans wish their guitar could be played in their hands. They often team up with their favorite guitar manufacturer to produce a guitar that is built specifically to their standards. Now, Daryl Sturmer's relationship with Godan Guitars began some 10 years ago when he first started playing an LGXT. And what that is, it, it looks exactly like this, except it also has a piezo system and a 13 pin jack for a guitar synth unit. So. It essentially has a piezo pickup and a guitar synth pickup built in, and that basically renders it what I would call a hybrid guitar. And and so that's a pretty versatile one when you stop to think about it. And for Daryl Sturmer, he knew what he wanted when he teamed up with Godin to build the DS-1. And he knew he wanted the exact same guitar, the same body, same neck, same pickups, but a more simpler version of the LGXT. So, with that, the LGXT is basically is the same as the Godan DS-1 minus the piezo and synth pickups. And for me, 
this was well worth the wait. Because Daryl Sturmer is such a big inspiration to me. I just had to snag this guitar and make it part of my arsenal. So, now let's get into the details, the specifications of this guitar. It, the body appears to me, it's what I would describe as a cross between a Telecaster and a Les Paul. And the body is made out of Canadian Laurentian basswood topped with a maple, a double A flamed maple top. The neck is made out of mahogany with a rich light fretboard. And at the 12th fret, you have the DS1 right in there. The pickups are made by Seymour Duncan. They are, you have a jazz pickup at the neck, and in the bridge position is a custom. You have a volume and tone control, and and you also have the this button here for the HDR. I'll get into detail about that momentarily. You have a five-way toggle switch and the trim system is Godin's True Lock trim. And how that works is when you want your tremolo bar to be in a certain position, like how I have here, and not have it wiggle around so much. All you do is you just take the um, Allen key here and you insert it into this hole and just either tighten or loosen, and and, you, and that's how you get your trim to stay in place. So when I so whenever I take out the tremolo bar or the whammy bar, as some aficionados may call it. Comes out like that, and when I, and any time I screw it back in, it lands right in the same place where I wanted it. And, and, and the five-way switch, how it works is position one, position one, neck pickup in single coil mode. Position 2, neck pickup, humbucker mode. Position 3, both pickups. Position 4, bridge pickup in humbucker mode. Position 5, bridge pickup in single coil mode. Now, the HDR that stands for High Definition Revoicer. Now what that does is it converts the pickups from passive to active. Now if you've ever found yourself torn between the decision between a guitar that has passive pickups or active pickups, or you know, like the sound of active or passive pickups so much that you just can't seem to make up your mind. Well, the HDR offers you the best of both worlds. So, the... So what I'm gonna do, as I demo some sounds here, is I'm going to play first in passive mode, and then, and I'll play all five pickup positions, and then I'll play all five positions again with the HDR actuated. So, 
without further ado, let's get into some sounds. the HDR.
it's important to note that um, the HDR does not really work too well when you turn on some dirt. You'll only notice a subtle difference, so I'll show you here as I... And I actuate that. It's more of a difference when you don't use overdrive and but the tone it's just if I turn it all the way down It's definitely versatile, takes on effects pretty well, and, and definitely sounds really cool. Just, it definitely has a voice that I find most unique. Now, even though I know I won't ever sound like Daryl Sturmer, just because I have this guitar in my hands, <laughs> I can sure do something that sounds close. Same situation goes with my Clapton Strat which you've seen me play many times, and I'm sure as you all know, I sound nothing like slow hand. But, um... But definitely this work mix with dirt, and... This is truly an awesome guitar. I truly treasure it, being that it's a Daryl Sturmer signature model, and Daryl Sturmer's my chief inspiration is what truly makes this one special to me. And you're gonna see it a lot more on this channel. And so that is our look at the Godan DS1. So if you like what you see here, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. Just click that red subscribe button right down there below the screen. And click the bell icon so that you'll always get notified anytime I post something new. And tune in next week when I do a piece that features this guitar. So... Have a great week, and until next time...